Hey guys, Albie here, and welcome back to our iOS series, creating our first iOS application, Bullseye. Now we left off where we just created our very first application, we threw in Hello World, that's fantastic. Now let's go ahead and get some actual user functionality on there. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a button onto our screen, and every time I tap on that button, I want my label to increase by one. Okay, so it's going to be a very simple counter app, but it'll give us some experience for creating our bullseye application. So what I'm going to do is I change the text of my label from hello world to zero. And then over here, I'm going to go ahead and increase my font size. So if you notice, I'm just clicking the up arrow and I'm going to go ahead and just make it 50. And then let me go ahead and increase the size of this label and put it in the center. Fantastic. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a button. Now, all I did was I went into my object pane and I searched for button. I'm gonna drag this and I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's go ahead and put it over here, increase. Okay, so increase and then let's go ahead and put this in the center, fantastic. So this is our view. We have a label, we have a button. The next thing we have to do is connect these elements to our controller. Right now, our controller has no clue that these elements exist, okay? So the way you do that is you're going to go ahead and select this label and then we're going to go to this sort of middle button, which is called the assistant editor. Okay. The assistant editor allows us to connect our elements from the view onto our controller. Okay. So the way we're going to do this is over here. Let's go ahead and add some space. We're going to go ahead and select our label. So select your label control click. Okay. This is very important. Control click until you get this blue line that allows you to connect and come over to your view controller and then let go. Okay. So again, I'm going to do that again. So what you're going to do is you're going to select your label, control click, come over to your right hand side of the screen, which is your controller and let go. And that will now allow you to create an outlet. So in Xcode in creating iOS applications, there's two types of connections you can make. There's IB outlets and there's IB actions. Now, what is the difference you might ask? An IB outlet allows you to connect UI elements from your view to your code and allow you to modify it. So if I want to change the color of my text, if I want to change the size of an image, I'd connect an IB outlet. If I want to get a user interaction, when a user clicks on a button, when the user um, moves his hand across the screen, when there's user interaction involved, you use an IB action, okay? So for our outlet, I'm going to go ahead and call this um, counter label for now. And then I'm going to go ahead and say, I'll just call it num label. So num label for now. And then over here, we have an increase button. Okay. So our increase button over here, um, we're going to go ahead and drag and drop through the exact same thing. And we're making an IB action. And the reason why it's an IB action is because when the user taps on it, we want an action to occur. And we do that by specifying an IB action, not an IB outlet. So I'm going to go ahead and call this increase. Okay. So now if you look at our code, we have a UI label, which is an IB outlet that's num label. And then we have an increase function. Okay. So the next thing we have to do is every single time our increase button is tapped, we want to increase our num label value by one. Okay. So I'm going to head over to my view controller and go back to the single view. It's called a standard editor. And over here, I'm going to go ahead and create a counter variable. Okay, so counter is equal to zero. Now, every single time my function, my button is pressed, I want to go ahead. So forgot the var there, var counter is equal to zero. I'm going to go ahead and increase my counter value by one. So counter plus equal to one. Okay, now that I've increased my counter by one, I want to change the text of my num label. That's why we added the IB outlet to update its property. So we're going to say num label dot text is equal to, and then in quotation marks, we're going to pass in the counter variable. So this is a very, very simple app guys. Okay. We have a counter variable. Every single time a button is pressed, we're increasing the value by one. And then we're updating the text of our label to be the counter. Again, I talked about this format in our Swift series, but this format where we have the variable inside of brackets and then a backslash in front of it, allows us to put our variables in strings very easily. Okay. So num is equal to counter. Let's go ahead and run this. Let's stop the instance that's already running. Let's go over here. And this is going to be a very, very simple counter application.
So let's give it a few seconds for it to run. Build succeeded. Whoops, let me bring it back. Awesome. So now we have zero, we have increase. I'm gonna go ahead and click on increase. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic, guys. So that was a very, very basic iOS application in which we used our labels, in which we used our buttons, and we're one step closer to creating our very own Bullseye application. Anyways, thanks so much for listening, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know, and I'll see you in the next video.